This Friday at sundown is the start of the Jewish New Year celebration known as Rosh Hashanah. And joining us now, as usual, to talk more about the Jewish community and how they'll be celebrating is Rabbi Levi Harlig from Chabad of Southern Nevada. Thank Good you. to see you. Good to be back here. Yeah. Shana Tova. Thanks Shana for Tova. Um, okay, so uh, usually we ask uh, during Passover what makes this night different than all other nights, but when it comes to Rosh Hashanah, when it falls on Shabbat, which is Friday night at sundown, right. how is it different than our normal New Year? Excellent question. I think the main difference is that we blow the shofar, which is the ram's horn, right. which is the trumpet blast as uh -huh. we're coronating God as our king again. And that is not blown on Shabbat. We don't blow it on Shabbos. It's okay. only blown on Sunday. Now we're going to try it in a second here, yes. just, just as a practice, because you're going to need the practice, one. and then yeah. maybe I'll try too. Uh, okay, so it, remind everybody, what is uh, Rosh Hashanah, and how is it different from the, let's say, world uh, or like um, the new year regular so Rosh Hashanah we, we proclaim God as our king it's a time of introspection time, time to take upon ourselves positive resolutions for the new year mm -hmm. and uh, we give each other blessings to bless each other for the new year so a lot of the time is spent in the synagogue in the shul in the temple praying with the machser which is the special prayer book for Russia for the high holidays for Rosh right. Hashanah and for Yom Kippur the day of atonement a lot of time praying and there's a festive festive meals throughout the holiday and of course the culmination is going to be with the chauffeur blowing blowing of the ram's horn I think two things number one is the it's the fanfare it's the trumpets when we coronate God as our king right and also supposed to symbolize the cry from the, from the depths of the soul as we turn to God return to God in repentance and remorse for the year that's passed and take upon ourselves resolutions for the coming year. That's the cry of the chauffeur. Okay, now there's a lot of uh, yummy foods as opposed to Yom Kippur where yes. we fast. No right, no food. But uh, I'm seeing right here, first of all, pomegranate is, is very uh, special in Israel. But it's also, like in my opinion, an awesome fruit that is very underrated. Very it is so, so yummy. Very much so. I agree with you. My wife adds pomegranate seeds to salads all the time. Oh yeah, I love it. We want our year to be full of mitzvot, full of merits, like the pomegranate is full of seeds. So okay. we'll have the pomegranate on the Rosh Hashanah dinner table. We'll have a round challah. The mm -hmm. challah bread is usually braided. Now it's round. It's supposed okay. to symbolize the crown, the oh. crown of God as our king. Okay. You have the apples and the honey. A lot of sweet food because we dip the apples in the honey to symbolize Shana Tova Umituka, a sweet new year. We want to have blessings that are sweet that we can appreciate. Same thing with the honey cake. We're going Get, around giving out honey cakes. Oh, the honey for, cake, yeah. Sweet new year. Okay, getting back to the challah real quick. You said it's round versus braided. Is that just for Rosh Hashanah? Yes. Okay. Rosh, Rosh Hashanah Interesting. Is for, for symbolize a crown. So also the cycle of life as the new year. That's what the, the round challah is for. All right, should I try to, should I try to blow the shofar? You tell me. You want to do it? I should give it a shot. Yeah, I'll give it a shot. I, I, see, I don't remember if I know how to, because it's not just like regu like blowing a, a regular. A little bit Trump, trumpet style. <laughs> yeah, see, I knew that was going to happen. How come I can't? It I'm requires just blowing. practice. Yeah, right? <laughs> All right, you do it. Give it a shot. Here we okay. go. So, Shana Tova, happy, healthy, sweet New Year. Here we okay. go. Okay. Oh, I don't know what you did to it. Uh, I know. I, probably, I don't know. That's good. Happy New Year. How long can you go for the big one? There's the big one at the That's end. That's called the Tkiag Dola, the long, the long Everybody blast. gasps Correct. when you say that. Take your breath. Okay. A 30 to 60 seconds, but Ooh. it's coming after a full full set of blasts. So it's at oh, the end. Oh, that's right. But um, bring in the New Year, bring in all the blessings, and wish everyone a Shana Tova, happy, healthy, Have Super you ever been year. booed because you didn't do it long enough? Not yet. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think, I don't think that would be. Though. Yeah, I don't think that. I don't think anybody would ever do that. But uh, maybe for me, but not, not for you. <laughs> for that. The yeah. Of services, Jason, all over town. Yeah. Services, join. It's getting getting a little bit late, but go on ChabadLV.org. Find a local service. Attend okay. services. You want to connect to God. want to get blessings for yourself and your family. Now is the time as we start the new year. All right. And one more time. It's called Shana Tova. Shana Tova. Shana Tova. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Thank Rabbi, you. thank you. Always a pleasure. All right. And we'll be back after this.